Now this guy, well I believe is one of the best. Not only does he sound like the characters, but he looks like them as well. Put your hands together for Mervyn J. <laughs> Lovely audience, you really sound so I bet than last week. <laughs> News tonight from London Zoo. The penders have failed to mate again. Aww. But the good news, the black widow spider is at the spout. <laughs> I see the post office has just announced that they're having a Tony Blair stamp. A Tony Blair stamp. It's, it's going to be the first two-faced stamp in history. <laughs> oh, good guy, yes. And I see they had a survey in Liverpool, a survey in, in, in Liverpool, and they asked all the Liverpudders, would they accept the euro? And 99.9% .9 said, no, we'd rather keep the gyro. <laughs> From Brucey. Nice to see you. To see you. Before we go any further, I'm an impressionist. <sighs> Just in case you thought I must have been a schizophrenic with chameleon tendencies. In this country, we're called impressions. If you go to America, you're called a take off. Oh, you're a take off. Huh? Italy, a take of the pizza. <laughs> but uh, let's first of all visit uh, a a lovely city. It's got a tax haven, ladies and gentlemen, called Naughty Ash. <laughs> Bye, Chief! Bye, Chief! Bye, Chief! What a lovely day! What a lovely day for all the ladies in the room! in the room to put an ice cream down your top, down your top, missus, and say, by Jove, how about that for a chest freezer? <laughs> <laughs> all the men, take off your trousers, all the men, take off the trousers, put on a kilt, stone on your head, and say, by Jove, how about that for a shuttlecock? <laughs> <laughs> We're in Ludown, what a lovely laid out place Ludown is. I don't know when it died, but it's lovely laid out. <laughs> Somebody asked me, did I believe in reincarnation? Reincarnation? I said, no, I don't want to come back as a tin of milk. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. What a lovely day for sending Tony Blair with a message. How about this for weapons of mice destruction? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> Tony Boy! Street down at night, he said to me, he said, Do them prostitutes ever have babies? I said, Of course they do, son. Where do you think we get traffic wardens from? <laughs> I was in Tesco's the other night, and this little kid was crying his eyes out. I said, What's the matter with you, son? He said, I've lost me mammoths. I said, Don't worry about that, don't worry about that. I said, No, 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 no. I said, We'll find her. I said, What's she like? He said, Sex in bingo. <laughs>
Pierre says, and it's a pleasure. Yeah. I went to my hair just this day, and I said, will you cut my hair? And he said, how would you like it cut? I said, just a little off the top. Look what the bastard did. <laughs> I just came back from the doctors today. Bloody charlatans. <laughs> you know what he said to me? He said, you're coughing better now, Mr. Meldrew, than you were before. <laughs> I said, I'm not surprised. I was up all night practicing. <laughs> Men. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter, this is war. <laughs> you all know me, Captain Marin Warburton on sea. Now, the men I have are very game. In fact, I'll introduce them by name. Private Godfrey, he's our first aid. He brings us cakes his sister made. Private Fraser, he's a Scot. And with a rifle, he's a damn good shot. Private Walker, <laughs> bit of a crook. But he brings us essential supplies without a ration book. Corporal Jones, butcher by trade. Crimean War, infantry brigade. Sergeant Wilson, where the Bank I employ with Private Pike, the stupid boy. <laughs> Private Pike, the stupid boy. 